once again, happy internet people. Will here from the Zipline Show doing our second part in this Python series of screencasts. Uh, here I am again at theziplineshow.com. Got to get that plug in there, you know. If you have not already watched part one of this series, hop over there and watch that right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. No, I'm not going to wait. That thing's super long. Don't. I'm not going to wait. Continuing on. Pause this if you haven't seen it. So today we are actually going to sit down and install Python on Windows. So first off, you need to get to the Python website. Fortunately, the web address is pretty easy to remember, python.org. Super, super simple. Alternatively, if uh, you can't remember python.org, go to Google, type in Python, and it will be right there. Pretty easy to get to. So here we go, we're at python.org. Over on the left, we have a nice little download option. Makes sense, so we're going to click that. And then we are doing Python 2.7 for this particular screencast. Python 2.7 is right in this area of the page. If you want to do 3.1, that's all down here a little bit lower. We are after the Windows binaries, uh, the Windows installers. Makes it super, super easy to install Python. If you are running a 32-bit version of Windows, you want this first one, Python 2.7.1 Windows installers, Windows binary, does not include source. That's what you're after if you're running 32-bit version of Windows. If you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, hop on down here and choose this second one, Python 2.7.1 Windows x86-64 installer. So you kind of need to know if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows or not, um, and then just choose correctly. I happen to be running a 32-bit version, so I'm going to click on this top one, Windows Installer. And now it's going to ask me to save the file. I have a super slow internet connection here, so like many cooking TV shows, I've already downloaded the file. Huh, I'm going to cancel that. How about Firefox? And here it is. Python 2.7.1.msi. That's the little installer package. So I'm just going to double click that. Yes, Windows, run the software. All right, now I'm just going to install for all users. Probably the best bet if you're on a multi-user machine to just install it for everyone so that there's no hassle with it. Go ahead and click Next. The default directory is going to be Python 2.7 right on the C drive. Um, I highly recommend you just leave it like that. Don't mess with it. That's where a lot of things are going to be expecting Python to be. If you are just crazy and cannot have a program installed into a folder directly on the C drive, then you can start messing with it, but that's outside the scope of the screencast. So I'm just going to leave the default. Click Next. Few options. Register extensions just means that Python is going to open up Python files. That's what we want. TCLTK, well, yeah, this stuff we want for sure. Documentation, probably handy to have, especially if you're going to be working on a machine that doesn't have internet access. Utility scripts, test suite, we're talking about maybe 10 megabytes of space, so I'm just going to let leave it. Everything selected, it's good to go. Click Next. And now we wait patiently. And still wait patiently. Pretty nice background, huh? Blue. It's, it's good. Okay, waiting patiently some more. How are you doing? Well, that's nice. Did you actually answer? I bet you didn't answer. I wanted to answer if someone asked me how I was doing during a screencast. That's just silly. That level of user interaction doesn't make any sense for a screencast. It's completely and totally insane! Ah! Oops. All right. There we go. So, we're done. It's that easy. Click Finish. Congratulations, you have just installed Python on Windows. I hope you weren't expecting much more, because that's it. Completely, totally finished. Can uh, go ahead and pop it open here, Python, and idle. And there you go, that is the Python shell all set to go on Windows, and Next up, we're going to do part three of the series, getting to know the Python interpreter. So there you go. That's it. We're done. That's, it's, it's that easy. Sorry. Super simple.